I love going out, especially going to baseball games and doing things with my friends. Sometimes the two of us go out together. Sometimes it's easier if I don't take her with me. But I like helping people too. Lots of people look to me because of my experiences, and it makes me feel good to be able to help. Whether it's standing up for somebody's rights, or advocating for inclusion, or just encouraging a peer, you know, just telling them they can do it. And believe me, I've seen it all. It doesn't matter that I have a disability or that I use a wheelchair. I can still live my life and make a difference. My name's Jackie. Sometimes it's hard for people to understand my speech, so I'm gonna use this voice today. After all, this is what I sound like to me. I was raised by my grandparents. After I had surgery on my hip in my early 30s, I was put into a nursing home, but now I live independently in my own apartment thanks to the Center for Accessible Living. I'd like you to meet some people here at the center who make independent living possible for me and many others. People with disabilities are not always what you think we are. We're certainly not helpless or inspirations or tragedies like the media portrays us. We're just people, the largest minority in America, and we just want to live, love, work, and play like the rest of our neighbors. Kel helps people live in and contribute to the mainstream of society. But there are some things that make Cal very different from other agencies. The Center for Accessible Living is different than I think a lot of agencies because uh, when we look at the individual with the disability, um, you know, our view is disability is natural. Most people will experience a disability at some point in their life and um, you know, we're here to support them and to make sure they can still achieve everything they've ever wanted to achieve, regardless of whatever their disability is. And it's not that they just focus on one thing, the disability, but at Cal, they focus on so many, many different things. I think a lot of people believe that people with disabilities um, don't, aren't able to function in society. They don't have anything to give the community, and that is so not true. That is so not true. What we do is help people with disabilities live as independently as they want to in the community. Life in a nursing home is not fun. There's no freedom. They tell you what to do and when to do it. Back then, I would go to the center just to get away from the nursing home. I sometimes would stay all day. Then Cal helped me find an apartment. They even helped me get into the personal care attendant program so I can be independent in a place of my own. So now I can choose to do what I want, when I want, independently. The beauty of independent living is that you not only have the right to choose, but you absolutely have the right to fail. Um, that we're all human and we're not all going to get it the first time, but it's important to have the supports like the center there to help you try again and be successful. With Cal, you can choose the services that you get and determine for yourself what you need, which I think is very empowering. I think the community benefits substantially when you incorporate people with disabilities because you're incorporating people who have a whole host of talents, um, a whole host of abilities that you maybe haven't tapped into. And Cal really makes sure that people with disabilities um, can do things just like anyone else can. We believe that with the right supports and the right things in places, you can be in the, in the community and you can live an independent life um, and you can do virtually anything that anyone else can do. I so appreciate what the center has done for me. I try to stay active and give back some of what I've learned in the community. Today, I'm an executive board member at Cal. We are mandated to have at least 51% of our staff and 51% of our board of directors to be individuals with disabilities. So it can be any type of disability, just like the people we serve are any type of disability, but it's the concept of nothing about us without us. The idea that um, people with disabilities are gonna be helped the best by other people with disabilities who have been in that situation, who have experienced those experiences. Uh, so it's a, it's a peer-based agency. One of the things I can do for our community is to advocate and stand up for our rights. 
and I teach others to advocate for their rights too. We might need to try to advocate on behalf of the person with a disability, but really we try to empower that person to be their own self-advocate because they'll carry that much further with them in their lives and actually maybe be able to share that with other people in the disability community and try to start them down the path so that they can get the best information and hopefully the best results from what they need to do. We have the information, we can put you with people that, that can not only be peer support, but help you along and you can help others. I mean, it's a, it's a great opportunity for the center to be a, a resource, a safe place to come to, a place where you're, you feel like, okay, I've, I've, got, I've got a chance in life. My hope is uh, that we teach consumers enough skills to last a lifetime um, so that they can remain independent in the community. Independence doesn't mean we want to do everything on our own. It means we want the same choices and control in our everyday lives that every non-disabled person takes for granted. We want families, educational opportunities, careers, the chance to pursue our own interests, to find happiness and fulfillment. We're just ordinary people. We want to be included, recognized, and loved. We want to thrive. When so many other people say no to people with disabilities, you can't. We're the one place that says, yes, you can. <laughs>